one's ready to go. Yeah. How I look at collaboration is always, what do I gain, what do I give? Because then it's like, all right, there's a symbiotic relationship with the two parties introducing something new, which is why sometimes collaborations like fall short because they just end up being like a, a logo presentation next to each other, as opposed to when you have the actual ethos of every person involved in relationship, then it's like, oh, that's a very interesting pairing. I always knew that there could be a possibility that I open a coffee shop and a space for the public and the community to come interact with. Mm -hmm. And so Play Coffee, before we were here, this just kind of used to be an open parking lot space. And so to have come into the space with no existing water, mm -hmm. sewer, plumbing, this massive challenge happens where mm -hmm. it's like, is this really worth it? There's a split moment where you ask yourself that and then it's like, Absolutely. Those memories and those interactions with the details and the space that we created are going to be lifelong memories. Yeah. How you do one thing is how you do everything. 100%. And so when I'm choosing this chair, yeah. I. I might spend four hours right. just looking through, you know, and it's like, that doesn't really mean anything to most people. Yeah. But the fact that I know that that habit is going to carry over into every part of Well, they receive the it. They receive it. When you have that type of attention to detail as a creator, whether the person who is experiencing what you do can articulate it or not, they have the sensation that they're in a place that cares about a lot of th more things than a lot of other places. That For sure. Like as an artist, there is no space too small to express mm. your taste mm. and your perspective. Like, my Spotify bio is just as important as the first 10 seconds of the second song on my new project. You're aware of all of those decisions and they're mm. draining mm. and they can mm. cost you rest and they can cost you ease, but in reality, if you don't do them, you're actually mortified. Yeah. You know? I think life and the results that are yielded from what you do is the feedback. Because I learned a it's while ago- what people say back to you. Because sometimes they don't, that's not their job. For sure. I'm the person with the words. Yeah. Right? I'm the one that puts hundreds and thousands of words together to express and articulate sometimes the most nuanced aspect of an emotion of a, that, that's a fleeting emotion of that day. Yeah. That's my job. Your job is to feel seen mm. as a listener. Same way like, I can't do what you do. That's not my job. Yeah. My job is to have coffee and feel better already. The way I look at it is, are you a better person because you listen to me? Mm. That's usually the most nice. tangible thing I can experience. Like you see people start to become fans of you. And if I have proximity, do you improve? Mm -hmm. do you, does well, your story start changing? Does your fashion start changing? Yeah. Does your ideology change? Are you more confident? Are you more brave? Are you more attentive? Are you more supportive of a friend? Like all of those kinds of things, if I can catch it, you, you digest and you're like, okay, I might be a part of that. Mm -hmm. Or they've experienced already that I'm a part of that. Yeah. Usually they, they will let you know. We want the people who help us to know that they've helped us. <laughs>